Welcome to my channel. My name is Richard. Hello. And uh, today we're going to start restoring this old 1952-1953 Craftsman 4-inch joiner. I've already taken the liberty of taking off the pulley and the spacer. And these blades and the, and the uh, shims that go with them. Uh, she's been left outside for a while, boys. <laughs> She's been gathering uh, metal cancer, also known as rust. I tried sharpening this one up, but uh, as you can see, the rust goes all the way to the edge, and the, and the pitting gives it little flat zones. It takes a lot of sharpening to get that out. Uh, I might hold on to these as a spare in case I run into a nail or something, but uh, other than that, uh, I don't like them at all. Let's see, let me get my mess over here straightened up so I can put more parts in the little box. I keep a box like this, or two or three of them, depending upon how big the project is, to keep things in order for things I'm not familiar with. And this is one of those things. I haven't never torn down one of these before. And uh, we're going to start. The uh, drum the blade sits on has seen better days. Let me bring you in. And you can see somebody has removed it. Here, let me get that. Somebody has removed it once with a hammer and didn't bother the pleasantry of a block of wood or anything. And as you can tell by, the, by this drum, that uh, it had substantial rust throughout. I've already stoned the top of this with a sharpening stone and some oil and took off the, the, uh, the worst of it. I did have a ding right here that if, uh, if I hadn't uh, stoned it, it would have left a, a, a scratch in every piece of wood that would have run across it until it wore off. So that was, that was good right there. Uh, I'm gonna take this out, take it apart. I'm going to bead blast it, repaint it, reassemble it, new blades, new bearings. And it will be like a brand new old machine when I am done. This machine was built in 52 or 53. Without the motor, it cost a whopping $45. Uh, our currency has been debased, I'd say. But uh, some of these parts, like the... Uh, Like this bar over here, I will run through my tumbler, and as I, ran, I ran this through the tumbler already. But some of this stuff, I'm going to run run across a buffing wheel and polish it back out so it shines like it used to. Uh, I want to wind up with a brand new, old joiner is what I want. Uh, I'm not going to go back with factory colors. I'm going to go in with yellow and black. It's going to be a little one-off, a little different. And it's for me, so who cares? And the only person I got to please on this build is myself. And with that said, we'll flip it over and start the disassembly. I'll also take off the tags. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, man. It's not just rusted on the top, boys. It's rusted in the middle. Let me bring you in. There. Yeah. She's rusty and crusty, and there's a lot of work to do here. And also, I'll get some of the goo off of this so it's unsticky. And we'll make a nice job of it. Right now I'm just going to take off these, these nuts here, and these nuts here, these three and these three, and uh, take off this top. I should be able to raise this thing off the, uh, the tables. I'm hoping this still moves, but we shall find out. I'm using a, a uh, dial indicator base 
for this I had sometimes I got to turn off the magnet I will rejoin you after after I get uh, tools to start start taking those off catch you in just a few okay I have acquired the right tool make sure I'm recording yep and uh, so I'll be backing these off. One. Two and three. And there we go. Seconds. I should just allow this to back out, I think. Yeah, should be just a dog for that. Okay. Oops. Got a little screw back here. Goes across. I'm oh, sorry boys, the camera's giving me fits today. If you don't get enough motion in front of this thing, it turns off. That's supposed to be a feature to save the battery, but it's, uh, it's not saving my sanity. So, there's a little link that uh, helps guide the height table. Okay. This thing keeps shutting off on me. I'm having a cow here. Okay, let's wind this out. It's all dry and crusty, turns hard, it's not nice. But hey, it's old, it was cheap, I can't gripe too much about it. There it is, this uh, little, where is that? This screw here is what holds that in place when it when it's in. There we go. So table should come off now. There we go. Ooh, filthy. Okay, this here should glide up and down on that. Okay, we got a Phillips screwdriver. Let's see if I can't get these off. The inside, it doesn't look near as bad as the outside. But it's still plenty, plenty dirty. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's kind of loose. Tells me that whoever was in here before was either limp wristed or weak or sick or damn near dead. <laughs> it shouldn't have been that that easy. Okay, that exposes these bolts here, so let me put these all together in my handy dandy parts box compartmentalized so everything's easy to find, everything's easy to place. Extension make that a little easier. Okay. One of these already fell out, so now I know where they go. Where's that washer? There it is. Drop the bolt on the ground. Okay. This is the pointer that shows the height as you're adjusting, going up and down. Let me take off these. Got a woodpecker going on over here. He's been here for about two weeks. He's in a tree that got struck by lightning last year that I was just going to hang some birdhouses on. 
but he decided he didn't need a house, so there you go. Here's the other. Time to pull that off. Lots of cleaning to do here. Also, the other thing I want to pull is this bar back here because this is going to run through my polisher. Oops. A little smaller. I got a uh, tumbler polisher I'm going to run this through and uh, make it like that again hopefully nice and shiny that is the hope I'd like it to be that way but, uh, you don't always get what you want but I'm gonna try just so I keep everything kind of together don't mix things up because I don't want no variations in height because the part of this that's adjustable I'm not removing it's going to stay in place and hopefully not move during this entire operation that seems a mite short I don't think those are the ones that came in this thing. Maybe that's why they're so clean. They do seem a mite short. There's only like a couple of threads. Might see if I can get something a little longer. There is an adjustment to tighten those up so you don't don't get so much play this way. There. Yeah, that's if anything I might pull those washers off of there as lock washers because I think those are Holding the bolts out too far. I have to see what I can find. I just I don't like holding anything with only a, a thread and a half. That's really against my my uh, better judgment. So I'm also gonna put these ones back together too just so as I don't get these confused this this is the back set
Here's a little sub assembly, doesn't hurt to leave them together. In the long run, in a week from now, when my uh, senility kicks in, and I haven't seen these in a week or so, I wonder what the hell are those? to give a shout out to uh, to Harold Harold Waters ARW amateur redneck workshop I was talking with him about uh, friend CNC machine because he's building a new one and he wants USB controls I don't fiddle with those I still run off the printer port I gotta leave that in there. Oh, that's a mess. I don't have an Allen wrench that big dog on it. I wonder if it's froze. Probably is, yeah. I guess that gets driven out. Hmm, need a bigger screwdriver. There. Yeah, it wouldn't have moved, so not uh, not willingly. Let's uh, get that with a little. got a little nub to keep it rotating in just a certain range right here and that fits in this little recess portion down through there let's see if that's freed up any oh, much better if you blast that out it'll be even better I don't know what that is in the hole, but I'm pretty sure my it'll come out in the blast cabinet. <laughs> I'm gonna put these screws on here so these do not get lost. And they'll also get cleaned in the process. I don't know if I trust that spring or not. 
Have a look at it. That's rusty. We'll beat it up a little bit and oil it. It'll probably pass. This and this are probably the worst of the table. But uh, it's not going to a beauty show, it's <laughs> it's gonna cut wood. I'm going to try pulling that tag off and I'm going to let you guys take a rest for a bit while I do that. Upon examination, I think I'm just going to leave that on there and tape over it. Because it looks like I'll damage that, uh, that badge if I try to remove it. And that's something I'm not willing to do. Now I'm going to take out the, uh, the last three bolts in there. Which should come out pretty easy. The nuts behind these bolts set the height on the table and because they're factory adjusted and, I, and I'm and i the only thing I'm doing is cleaning dirt off of this thing for the most part, I don't feel they need to be reset. I think moving those would get a fella into trouble. So I think I shall leave those be. Common sense tells me to. I know that's an odd idea to some people, common sense, but it has saved me money. Frustration and time. There. Now you see what those are for. There's one right here. These are, are round on one end and they're for leveling that up when they're in place. And there's the front table. Done. Now we just got one cursed duty left to do. And that is to remove the shaft. Hold up. It does not come out through this side. This side is blocked. That bearing will not go through this side. This side obviously has a bigger hole. You know what I'm not feeling on either side is a snap ring. One on the shaft. Ooh, I hope I got one. I hope I got a pair of snap ring pliers that small. That is a tiny, tiny little snap ring. This one doesn't have one at all.
Oh. And this one is different than my than the last one I saw. Because the last one had a bearing the bearing would come out through the side. This one apparently you drive the shaft out. And then the uh, the roller comes up. I shall see you when I get that shaft out.